the body of evidence is very, very deep, that a lot of what we do is based on very rapid unconscious processes, and that we respond to people very, very quickly without even knowing it, based on you know, years and years of exposure to ideas, so we store ideas together. Let's say a physician walks into the room and the patient is black, right? And this is a physician who is great, genuinely, consciously unbiased, wants to provide the best care, has very high levels of unconscious racial bias, as do 80% of white Americans. So our, phys our, our physician, you know, our, our hero, walks in, sees the patient, gets interrupted twice, is worried about another patient, is tired. What happens then is what we all do is we rely on stored information about the person. We're like, okay, this is what I know about black people, right? This isn't conscious, less likely to comply, right? These are the stereotypes, it's not true, um, less intelligent. Without even thinking about it, our hero sits down with good intentions and is already seeing this patient through this framework the lens, because the unconscious processes are trying to be efficient. Like, quick, 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 you know? What do we know about black people? Quick, quick, quick. Maybe eye contact or body language reflects this, right? And now the patient is, you know, a little hesitant, and maybe that hesitation is interpreted in a way that's consistent with the stereotype. We finally got NIH funding to uh, recruit a very large uh, stratified random sample of medical students from 49 schools. In that study, we were actually just looking at the medical school and student factors that affected bias among graduating and new physicians. We have another study right now in the field in which we're trying to prevent um, any detrimental effects of the experience of race in white medical schools for black medical students. I believe that healthcare systems are out in front in saying, you know, we're not ignoring this. We know that our intentions are extremely strongly egalitarian. It's part of our principles, but we also know that there's this huge body of work that says, hmm, maybe sometimes we're not even aware of this. Well, we're gonna make sure that we do know.